G'day footy fans, welcome back to the OTL NRL Fantasy Watchlist series, where we highlight potential targets for the OTL NRL Fantasy team. If you've enjoyed the content so far, please give this video a like, consider subscribing, and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss a single episode in the lead up to the 2020 NRL Fantasy season. We kick today's episode off with Joseph Tarpany from the Canberra Raiders. Tarpany came away from his 2018 campaign in great form with a borderline keeper output of 49.5 points per game. Unfortunately for Raiders fans, the New Zealand international wasn't able to replicate this form in 2019 and he only managed an average of 29.7 points. This would ultimately become the catalyst for a loss in value to the tune of 232k. It is important to highlight that Tarpany was affected with more than a few issues throughout the 2019 season, including thumb, ankle and rib injuries which limited the talented middle to just the 14 appearances. In the three games across this stretch where Tarpany played greater than 55 minutes, he went close to recapturing that 2018 form with 47.3 points a game, which gives potential owners hope of a resurgence in 2020. If Tarpany is fully fit for round one and playing around 65 to 70 minutes a game, his past performances tell us that there is every chance he lifts his average back into the high 40s and makes NRL fantasy coaches a cool 200K in the process. Next on the list, we're value hunting again with Jerome Luai from the Panthers. Now the Panthers have been very vocal that their 5'8 position is still up for grabs at the foot of the mountain. And after Burton's upgraded contract to see him join the top 30, Luai definitely has some stiff competition. Despite this, we're tipping the Samoan representative to get the first crack to partner Nathan Cleary off the back of his experience in the NRL and on the international stage. Whilst we don't expect too many points from Luai given he will almost certainly take a back seat to Cleary in terms of organising the team, he has shown the potential to hit low 30s consistently across his last four starts at 5 8 on the back of his strong running game. If he is named to start in round one and his price is indicative of that 17.6 average in 2019, low 30s is all we'll need for up to 200k in price rises and he'll be a more than handy bench option as a result to enable extra funds to be distributed elsewhere in your squad. Rounding out the list, we have another youngster in Phoenix Crossland at the Newcastle Knights. Not dissimilar to Luai, Crossland faces intense competition for his starting place in the team, but the upside is significant if he's able to nail down a spot over the preseason. At just 19 years old, Crossland made his NRL debut last season against the Warriors in round 16. The Erina Eagles junior was only required for 12 minutes in this game, but it was enough to show new coach Adam O'Brien just why he is earmarked as the long-term halfback for the proud Newcastle club. When asked about what he likes about the crafty young halfback's game, O'Brien mentioned it's his strong kicking game and the ability to take some pressure off Pierce. As NRL fantasy coaches, we'll be hoping he is given that opportunity to put boot to ball and establish a strong base of his kick meter statistics. Looking at Crossland's 2019 Canterbury Cup stats, he featured in 15 games for six tries, four try assists, and an average of 208 kick meters per game. This output resulted in a low 30s average at Canterbury Cup level, and he'd only need to match this in first grade in order to make more than enough money to justify his selection. This week's Love It or Leave It, Joseph Tarpany will get back to his destructive best in 2020 and push his average to 50 points or more. Leave your answer in the comments.